Hi, I'm Jennifer Gibbs and welcome to the Greater Boston Gala Girls. Today we're going to tell you how to throw a fabulous Kentucky Derby party, which probably explains the hat. Um, the Derby is held every year on the first Saturday in May and it kicks off the first of the Triple Crown races with a two week long celebration. Now, sadly, we're not going to show you how to celebrate for two weeks, but what we will do is show you how to throw a great party for the day of the race. Now, all you really need for a great party is good food, a signature drink, a game with some prizes, and decorations. It may sound like a tall order, but it so doesn't have to be. Food is, can be as simple or as complicated as you really want to make it. As long as it tastes good, nobody cares how long it took you to make it. Frankly, I go to the simple side. Um, a featured cocktail. We gala girls like to do one signature, maybe two uh, cocktails per party. And it cuts down on the cost by substantially. It also makes it very simple because you can make a couple pitchers of drinks and nobody has to mix drinks all night long. Um, the game, the game in this place, in this case, is pretty much done for you. It's a horse race. And the decorations, you really don't have to spend anything on decorations. Just be creative with what you have, borrow what you don't have, and look for bargains if you have to buy. We're not here to reinvent the party. We're just showing you how to carve out a little time with friends and not break the bank doing it. So let's go. And now I'm joined by fellow Gala Gal, uh, Alex, and we're going to show you how to make a Kentucky favorite called Benedictine. Delicious. It is. It's um, cucumber, cream cheese. You can use it as a dip. You can use it as a spread to make tea sandwiches. I really kind of prefer the sandwiches, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, it's got five ingredients. It's so simple. You throw it all in the food processor and you're done. Now, what we did learn from <laughs> our, our last mistake was that uh, it does matter which order you put the things in. Best to yeah, do. <laughs> yeah, it, it took us a while for last time. Yeah. So we've learned our lesson, and now we're here to show you how to do it the right way instead of the wrong way. So we're going to start with the cucumbers and the uh, green onions. Now, Benedictine has, there's tons of different recipes. Some of them say use Worcestershire, use dill, not a fan of dill. Um, no. Some of them say it has to be green. Some of them say it should never be green. And the ones that want it green want you to put food coloring in it, which kind of grossed us out. That's nasty. So we decided to uh, kind of improvise and do green onions, which gives it naturally a nice green shade. Mm -hmm. So, um, so get, get that blended up really well. Okay, I'm going to give it a couple little bit. Alright, okay. Great. And then cream cheese, which is just a block of cream cheese. Kind of soften it. Here's a knife if you want to need that for anything. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. Should. I was going to jam my fingers in, but it's a good idea with a sharp blade. I'm thinking bad, <laughs> Not so much. Bad idea Not so here. much. So, uh, a block of cream cheese. That was a whole cucumber. I cut it up. I took the seeds out and just pet, let it dry on paper towels. Oops, and you want to go ahead and put the salt and the mayonnaise in too. A uh, quarter tablespoon, a quarter tablespoon, quarter teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And that's it. It is as easy as that. And it is so yummy. Oh, it is so good. Mm. When, we, when you made it the last time, it was, it was probably one of the most delicious sandwiches I've ever had. And I would feed it to my kids. I know. My kids and eat. your kids would probably eat it too. Because they're not quite as picky as mine, unfortunately. <laughs> Just a little again. technical difficulty. Okay. There you go. Ooh, See, yeah. it's so much better. Yeah, it it's, is. It makes it all makes all the difference. In the the water, I think, from the cucumber yeah. and uh, the the onions and everything, mm -hmm. just sets the the tone for the cream cheese, and then it doesn't get stuck and all gooped up. And so this is it. This is all you do. And that's it. That's it. It's so easy, uh, and it really is very very good. And I found that most everybody likes it. Yeah. Uh, it's no, there's nothing offensive. It's it's just a, an easy. Ooh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Oh, yeah. and just a light green, not the creepy food coloring green. There you go. And then just take some white bread. Um, white bread's traditionally what they use. If you would want to use something else, by all means, go for it. Yeah, I think the springiness of it, white and the light green. I yeah, think so. I'm with you. Well, and there's just nothing like a fresh, like bought at the store that day, white bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It makes me. Want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for some totally. reason. Totally. Now you said that you can put this, you can use this as a dip too, right? You can for veggies, um, and and it's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just thought uh, there was something about the sandwiches that was much better. Okay. Um, 
is my personal opinion, but you can always do both. It's not, it's so easy, just do another uh, round of, of the Benedictine, and then the last thing we need is big knife, is it? Uh, do you mind if I use this knife? Not at all, but you gotta cut the crust off. I will totally cut the crust off, don't you worry. <laughs> Um, okay, and then, so this is it, huh? That's it, that's it. And do you usually do it in, um, in like small triangles, big triangles? I usually just cut it in half. Okay. Just so big triangles, but you can be creative. That's what this is all about. Have fun. Turn it into little horsey shapes. Oh, wouldn't that be... <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nightmare to do? <laughs> yeah, I stopped at the nice part. I was like, <laughs> not so much, not so much. So here you go, Benedictine. Now we're going to make something called a hot brown. Again, another Kentucky Derby, Kentucky tradition, and it was created um, by the chef at the Louisville's Brown Hotel um, years and years and years. Oh, I thought it was a hot brown because you sort of brown it under the broiler and it was no. Brown Hotel, but it's the, the original recipe, although it's delicious, it's really messy. And again, yeah. we talked about not wanting something. You have to sit down, have a knife, have a napkin, have a bib. So we have kind of modified it to uh, our little baby hot browns, our little appetizer version. So instead of the Texas toast that you're supposed to use, um, we've gone with a baguette and, and we've just revised it a little bit. So what I did is another shortcut. Basically what it is is an open turkey face sandwich. It's got roasted turkey breast, um, uh, bacon, crumbled bacon bits, and this Marnay, I think is the way you pronounce it. It's basically cheese sauce. Yay, it's cheese. Yum, we already, we already made it so and tested it. So good. So good. Um, so we've got these little mini baguettes. The other shortcut that I kind of discovered, um, if you go to BJ's, they have rotisserie chickens, but they also have rotisserie turkey breast. And this huge roasted turkey breast was like $8, and it's there's no bone, it's all meat, and it's really an easy way delicious way to not only make hot browns but make yummy sandwiches and it comes in its own little um container for your leftovers throw them back in the refrigerator no cleanup. this is true so basically here's our little hot brown um what we're going to do assembly is a no-brainer a little turkey sauce. grab the sauce yep so a little turkey here a little turkey little turkey there a little turkey everywhere just a little little sauce you may get you a spoon or sauce uh, maybe you think spoon it maybe just uh, a little a little dollop on the top and we'll sprinkle the breadcrumbs and then we're going to put this in the oven for on 350 for say 10 minutes you might uh, about eight minutes in you might want to switch it to broil just to, to brown it up a little bit um, and oh that's looking good these look delicious um, and yeah the how we made this was we um, we melted some butter and then we whisked in, I think we melted like two tablespoons of butter, mm -hmm. and then we whisked in like two tablespoons of flour. Then you're supposed to put in, I think, like a half a cup of heavy cream, but we noticed that it was looking um, a little pasty, so we added a little extra heavy cream and then. A little extra milk. Yeah, and then we put in some milk too, so. And then what was it at the end? Cheese. cheese. Romano cheese. Cheese. Salt and that's the, the, the big kicker. Um, so, yeah, really super easy, and you're gonna. Wait. Oops. This one I so did not give enough. <laughs> cheese love. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a little. These are fresh bacon bits. I made some bacon this morning, crumbled it, and and then what you'll do is put it in the oven, like I said, for about 10 minutes, and when you get it out, sprinkle it with maybe a little paprika, a little parsley. Just pretty it up, if you will, and serve it on a nice silver platter, and that's it. You're done. And that so these, when they make them at the hotel, they mm -hmm. make the, like the big sandwiches? It is. It's like a, a big piece of uh, crustless Texas toast. Yay, Texas. <laughs> and um, roast turkey breast, about seven ounces of roast turkey breast, yeah. then the, the Marnay sauce on top, and then they broil it, and then put two strips of bacon oh. over the top and two tomato wedges on the side. So it's good for you. Oh, it's oh, super good, good for good, you. Good. But it's, play. Yeah. This is a party. It's, you can yeah. eat healthy all the other times in the month, hey. not at a party. Absolutely. I mean, we're not serving, you know, soy grass milkshakes either. That's not no. our signature cocktail. No. <laughs> it we're certainly not isn't. Horses. No, no, we're not. No, it's not. But all of these are really easy. Again, you know, I kind of like to do a cool, a cool appetizer, a warm appetizer. It's not a dinner. This is a cocktail right. party. So we're just doing some easy finger foods that taste good. And again, I'm awesome. not the simple. So the hot brown. Okay, now the last thing.